RJ Hampton is playing overseas next year. Now, everybody assumed he was going to go to Kansas or Memphis or something along those lines. He was recruited heavily because he had reclassified, right? Well, if you're going to play overseas, there's no real reason to reclassify. But he's going to play for the New Zealand Breakers in Australia. And this has stirred up a huge deal online about well, what does this mean for NCAA players and what does this mean going forward? You know, kids can skip college. They can just go play professionally overseas and then come back to play in the NBA. The truth of the matter is it won't change anything. Uh, this doesn't help out RJ's brand because nobody's going to watch him in New Zealand. That, like, that's that's the fact of the matter. At least nobody in the United States, right? Obviously, they've got fans over there in that league. They, they do what they do. But uh, he'll go over there, and he'll be fine, and he'll come back, and he'll play in the NBA, and he'll be great because he's a great player. Like, he's a, a top five recruit in the country this year. Uh, but Brandon Jennings did the same thing. Went over there, came back, was the number 10 pick in the NBA draft. He's had a pretty good career. He's still in the NBA. He's still making money. He's made a ton of money. R.J. Hampton will do the same thing. I don't believe that this will change anything as far as college basketball players coming in, building their brand for a year, and then going to the NBA. Now, within a couple of years, we're just going to be done with the one and done. Kids will be able to go from high school to the NBA if they want to. And then kids that go to college and develop in a year and become a big-time draft pick the same way that uh, the kids at Texas Tech have done, it's... It, the same thing is going to continue. This will not change anything that is going on. Uh, anybody that's on ESPN or all these talking heads saying, oh, this is a game changer. This is showing kids that you can do that. No, it's not. Okay, look, James Wiseman, he was going to go to college for a year. Like A lot of kids do not want to go overseas where they don't speak the language of the place that they're going. They don't, you know, it, it's not comfortable being over there especially for a year. It's nice to go visit. But to go live and and play basketball over there for an entire year, you got to have a, a different kind of makeup to be able to do that. So props to RJ Hampton for doing it. Uh, I don't think it's going to change the way that college basketball is viewed or the way that things are done as far as recruiting goes, as far as these players leaving to go play professionally. I think it changes nothing. But... I am excited about uh, the fact that he is doing it. It's nice to see something different, and, uh, and we'll see how things go.